G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Car 15 as well as the M4A1. These weapons are part of the same weapon mod, and also it is raining right now, so all the speculars are all nice and shiny. I don't usually record these uh, parts when it's raining, but you know what? Since it is, the game's gonna do that for me, I'm just gonna go with it. Anyway, so yeah, this mod adds two of these standalone AR-15 type weapons with custom animations, which is pretty good. You can spend hours or just a little bit of time picking apart the subtle differences between them, but for the most part, they basically look the same. So for the, um, I believe it's Colt Automatic Rifle, we'll get into these attachments, and first of all, we've got the receivers as always. You can bump them all the way up to Special, which is great because it gives you a cut above Advanced, which which means at later levels this thing will actually hold up pretty nicely. Now for the barrels, you get a little bit of customization here, not too much. Obviously that long barrel there is going to give you the best range because it makes sense it would. A little bit more damage would be nice there for longer barrels, but that's not really how Fallout 4 works. Now to have this thing, you can have you can have a standard stock with that. That's basically the marksman's things. It's even got that there. That'll give you better aim with scopes. This one will give you recoil and the recoil compensating stock. Yeah, I don't really need to uh, tell you what that does differently. Now for the magazines, you can either have the standard, which I believe is 20, or you could add plus another 10 in there. Why the hell not? And for the sights, you can have all of these sights, which is pretty good. They're mounted above the carry handle there. Um, since this thing doesn't have a tactical rail to replace it, everything is going to be mounted on the uh, thing there. So we'll go for a reflex sight, why not? And for the muzzle, we'll definitely want to go for a suppressor here because Fallout 4 is sneakers overpowered, blah blah blah. Although there is a bunch of compensators there if you want to go loud and proud with it. Now you can make this white material if you feel like it, just a little bit of a change. And low um, winter is a goth and probably doesn't like the white colours. You know what, we'll make it a little bit different looking with that. And of course, the legendary effects exist with that. Very good. Now, moving on to the M4. Basically, it's the same sort of thing. So you've got the special auto receiver here. And of course, the barrels. One of these has a foregrip on it, which um, actually changes the animations in first person. It's a little bit far forward. I would have liked it to see, um, you know, it sitting there. But you know what, that's fine, whatever. And for the stocks, it's basically the sort of same thing. I wouldn't um, be surprised if they were the exact same sort of... Um, um, meshes there and of course this one comes with a standard 30 round mag no need to change that and for the sights you can actually yeah remove the carry handle for a couple of these sights which is good although I believe there is one the Aerotech V2 which um it preserves this sort of build of the sight uh, I guess but um it does remove the carry handle but you still keep that nice little uh thing there that really helps with the profile of the e um with the ar-15 so you know what i'll go ahead and chuck on that plus it's an eotech site and i bloody love those things and of course a suppressor will definitely chuck one on there although the compensators actually look pretty good something i saw at a battlefield once i think so it all looks very accurate to the weapon in and of itself and of course legendary effect as well okay enough of me yabbering let's go shoot people Okay, so here we are in Gunner's Laggy Plaza here, and it is a little bit more laggy this time because we've got the uh, interior of this place overhauled now, so there's going to be plenty more people to shoot at. As said, I shelved the um, immersive Gunner's Plaza on the outside for a while because I feel like it's a little bit too much. Anyways, here we are in third person with our car 15. We'll just angle the gun up a little bit there. We've got a little bit of a new hairstyle going on there. Nothing permanent, but I did have to download one of... Okay, all the turrets are exploding for some reason. Yes, but I did have to download this hair mod to make sure these gunners look a little bit different because that was just one of the prerequisites for it. So that is why I'm just using it now because I haven't used it yet and the head styles definitely look nice. Anyways, there we go. We'll just attack these gunners right here. We're starting from here because um, there's a lot of gunners up there and generally when you go through that door there, they all detect you in one sort of thing. So you get no chance to actually start the fight on your terms. It's more of everyone just shooting at you at once, which is good. There's that reload animation. And um, yes, there's supposed to be turrets, but for some reason they all explode. I don't know why. And um, also, I don't think there's any more people down here, which is odd, but I will press on. Anyway, so as you can tell, the bobbing animations are nice. The sprinting animations, we'll just sprint over here for a second, and they're pretty good too. I'm not sure if these are actual animations from like the RU556, because yeah, they've, they've um, yeah, I don't know. 
Master Shifu sometimes does animations, I believe, who is the author of this mod. And uh, unlike the other mods we've had before, this one is actually not on the illegal side because he's not begging you to uh, give you money to actually download this mod. This is one of the public ones, so yeah, I've got no problems with that. Now, this being on Gun Network probably means that this thing is in fact just use assets from another game, so I'm not sure what games this is from or whether it's actually from anything at all, but the meshes are top quality as a result. Anyways, that's the car 15 for what it can do. It does all right, I suppose. And um, yeah, this is the problem with Immersive Gunners Plaza on the inside. It just spawns a whole heap of crap here, and that's what slows the frame rates down. Even that guy can't access his computer without being just clobbered in all of these. I have no idea what they came from. I've uh, been in the creation kit, tried to delete all of those things from spawning, but they're still there. As you can tell, there's nothing on the walls here because as a result of me deleting all of those picture frames, nothing is here. So if I'm using an explosive weapon, one of those things isn't going to jump up and kill me, which is useful. But for some reason, we're just punished with that. I'm not sure why that happens. I've Again, there's no sort of mods that I can have blame it being incompatible with because it's basically at the top of my load order. I edited my plugins.txt and chucked it up the top and for some reason it's still not working as well. As you can tell here, this thing is a pretty good uh, weapon. You can get about 100 damage there, also 5 million I believe on that gun with, the, um, with all of that. Normally I'd shoot the turret there and you can actually see the evidence that it did exist at one point but it's destroyed. Now we can actually get into the actual gunners because for some reason they're all up on this top bit here. So, you know what? We'll just take out this dude over there. Got a nice 800 shot on him with the sneak attack crit, which is great. We'll switch over to our M4A1 there. And as you can tell, it's got nice little first person animations that you just hold it with the foregrip in. Now that all of these AI things are coming into uh, play, the game's slowing down a little bit because it's a lot of the, it's a lot for the game to think about controlling all of these AI. That's why they tend to just stand there while firing at you. I'd imagine that's just an engine limitation that uh, having this many enemies really pushes the thing too hard. That is why they don't usually move around. The AI is rather simplistic in. Um, Fallout 4 anyways, so there's nothing too spectacular about it in the first place, but sometimes they do alright things, they can flank you sometimes, they can throw grenades to get you out of cover, although that is just basic um, first person shooter AI crap anyway, so that's nothing amazing about that, but as you can tell this thing is performing quite well, we're, just, um, we're back into our caution which is neat, so we'll just quickly drop that guy in three shots, although I've fired many around him. And, oh, not back into danger yet. This is why Sneak is overpowered. I've, I've got no reason why they wouldn't be able to see me there. Everyone's just blind, apparently. Okay, looks like there's just two people left. And it's interesting how they put these walls here. I'm guessing that sort of makes you have to go around to this sort of section before taking on these last guys. So, yeah, quite an interesting little design choice there. We'll just quickly finish off the rest of these. They've gotten themselves stuck somehow. And there you have it. That was the M4A1 as well as the LK15 in Gunners Plaza immersive style there. So, um, yeah, not really convinced about the interior one either. Although it's nice to see a few more enemies pop up here and there. I think they're too spaced out here. I would have liked to have more at the center there where I usually place Captain Bridget for fighting, but, and also the turrets exploding and all of those movable static um, picture frames there. I really don't make this thing all that great. That one's obviously a static one because you can't move it no matter what. Okay, so we'll take this into another place full of top tier creatures. We'll probably just go to the Super Mutants again and we'll see what it does from there. Also, how's the hairstyle? I think it suits her pretty well. Okay, before we take on the Super Beans at the Scrapyard and end up finishing Old Mate Gerald over there, we'll take out these gunners and modify one of our um, AR-15s to be on an automatic platform. Fortunately for us, there are only conscripts and other low-level trash, so we should be able to cut through these guys pretty easily. The gunner commanders that do spawn here are from the good old uh, Creation Club add-on of the uh, Chinese stealth suit, so um, yeah, that adds a little bit more people to shoot at, but um, not too much, not too dangerous at all. And there we go. I think Gerald's pissed off at us now, but if we just hide in here, we should be, uh, yeah, we should be able to get away from him nice and easily. Unfortunately, got to get out of combat before we actually modify this weapon. 
Okay, now if I can get out of this annoying PA that never shuts up. Um, yes, we've got our M4 and it's modified to an, a semi-automatic with a scope on it, so we should be able to take out these super mutants with more of a snipey approach. And if they get too close, um, we can easily just whip out our automatic car 15 and take them out that way. So we'll just quickly start shooting these super mutants here. And we'll take him out as they appear. Nice headshots on that warlord. Seem to be... Ah, there we go. Knocked him down there. Very nice to know that this thing is very compatible with the um, sniper knockdown effect. Also, I probably should have taken that bat shot there because as a shot I just should have taken. Alright, there's another one up there. They've got no idea where I am. There's a guy traveling. Where's his doggo? I'm not sure. We'll just quickly get a few shots into him. Getting those sneak attack criticals for um, 404 not found damage. So, yeah, pretty good there. And now those other super mutants should start drawing in my direction. That one's a butcher. Last time it was basic super mutants, so somebody's gotten themselves a promotion. And there's one just behind there. I can probably vats him and neck him with the penetrator perk in hand, but I want to get closer, see how um, close we can get to these super mutants without getting ourselves detected, which uh, is easier than you'd think, really. Okay. right oh, so we'll just push on here. Another super mutant warlord there, and now we're in danger. This thing isn't going to be helping us too much, so we'll switch to the, I believe, should have higher DPS car 15, again, with the automatic receivers on it. And we're doing fairly good damage to that super mutant, even at the medium ranges there, although keep a watch on your mag, because, yeah, you can run through them pretty quickly, even though the rate of fire isn't entirely super speed like it was back in the Battlefield games, unfortunately you can still run through your bullets uh, pretty quickly. So yes, the hair that I have has physics on it too. I believe it's the same sort of physics as you'd get with Winter's regular hair. I think it's called Elegant or something. So there, is, there are limitations to it because obviously this hair is a lot longer and um, if it's going off the same physics bones or whatever the terminology for those physics are, also get away from me. Um, sometimes it's just a little bit unrealistic in the way it moves. It sort of all moves together and it's all kind of rubbery. Also, I fell down. Never mind. Okay, well, how are we for sneaking? Uh, still in danger, fading out of it quickly. I know there's a doggo in there. There's obviously another super mutant warlord nice and close to me. There you are. And back into caution, our oh, danger here. We'll try to get some headshots for some extra damage. Doing about 172 damage on him with the headshots, which is pretty good. Be accurate with this one, it, and it will reward you well. So, um, yeah, just don't take my bad aiming advice from me. That's just something that I consistently am bad at. I guess, um... Speaking and narrating and commentating has a lot of uh, it takes up a lot of my brains RAM to run and um, aiming.exe suffers as a comparison But there you go. That was the scrap place liberated. We can go and pick up our little um Railway rifle whenever we want anyways. There's Gerald over there He looks like he's getting stuck into some sort of people who's moving around there shouldn't be any gunners over there So maybe he's just stomping around for no reason All right looks like we are getting those glorious sneak attack criticals and those sniper knockdowns Which are always useful so the next time we knock him down um, Whilst he's vulnerable if I could just do that again get down would you? There we go now we can switch over to our automatic one and just fill him with up some... Oh yes, that was satisfying. Okay. Uh, Alright, you're getting a little bit close now, Swan. I mean, not Swan, Gerald. It's Gerald. I'm sorry I misnamed you. Anyways, we've hit the next level there. The rest of these super mutants are going to chase me down. I unfortunately step into a stupid little um, spotlight there, which I probably should have um, taken care of earlier. But now we're being shot at. Winter is in a whole lot of pain because of my um, incompetence there. But don't worry, it can't be a lot of pain because um, these guys are shooting with all of the high-powered energy weapons in the world, but, um, no, nah, that's like a tenth of our health bar taken out, or maybe like an eighth. So, oh, hang on, I'm just going to quickly reload this. Also, you've got a gorse rifle on you. Interesting. That's usually a little bit more high-tech for your super mutants, so I'd imagine that would be a legendary gorse rifle. So, while you're down there, we'll just go ahead and kick you until you're dead. And what is that gorse rifle? It is a stalker's gorse rifle. Boring Gorse Rifle Legendary to have, but a pretty decent little uh, 
combat scenario there, and the M4 and the Alcar took care of it very quickly there. So yes, very good weapons, even on the um, bullshit are very hard. These things can hold their own in a pretty good way. We'll just get ourselves detected by the spotlight there, so we can have a little bit of lighting on winter as we transition into our next thing. Okay, so here we are in the basement, and you're probably wondering why. It is because I'm actually going to show you how to obtain these weapons, because they're placed within the map pretty well. So here we are in the Gunners Plaza basement. You probably know where this already is. If you don't, you haven't played enough Fallout. So... Well, the way to get this weapon is pretty simple. You don't actually have to kill everyone in here. Those two guys are fine. And then all you need to go do is um, go to this weapon trunk here, which is neatly hidden amongst these boxes there. It is master lock, so if you don't have the lock picking skill yourself, bring Kate along with you. And there you go, you'll have access to an M4A1 with the furious effect. A very brilliant effect to have on an automatic weapon indeed, so this thing would probably serve you very well in combat. Nice. Okay, we'll move on to the other one. Okay, fine. Just to cover my bases, Gunners Plaza is there, there's Hyde Park, that's Jamaica Plain for um, reference there, and there's the castle, so you should probably have a general idea of where that is now. Now, our next little uh, traveling spot to get the Alcar, I believe, is Boston Marrow Shelter, which is here. There's the Blood Clinic for reference there, Mass Pike Interchange, where you take McCree to fight the gunners and you know that this place is nice and modified because that is not in English that looks like a German to me and what you need to do is get through this door now you could go on the terminal and unlock it that way or you could do it like a man once inside, it's probably super easy to find, just book it down these places. You might encounter a few synths while you're at it, just dispatch them if they show up. Go through this little door here, there's a turret up there, he does bugger all damage to you really. Actually no, he's hitting harder than most enemies, which is pretty good. Impressive turret, but since you're sitting there and doing nothing, we'll take you out there. And the weapon trunk, again, is easy to find. Just unlock that shit. Again, bring Kate if you can't unlock it yourself. And there's your car 15, as well as some other usual just generic uh, chest crap. So there you go. That was a guide to actually get these weapons. Although, if you're um, really sort of savvy and for you probably just use console commands to get them. Because this is on PC. We all have access to this if you've got this mod. So, uh, yeah. That's about it for this one. If you'd like to see these things in your game, I'll link the description the thing in the description, the gun network page, and the uh, media fire thing alike. So, um, if you really like this thing, go and give uh, Master Chief Fu a thumbs up for not putting this one behind a paywall. Good on you, bro. And yes, thank you for watching.